Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So in this video, I'm talking about using iMovie and how to add tiles and overlays onto a video that you're making. Revelator Alf. So go to uh, iMovie on your uh, computer. And I've just got a, a general video here, which I made the other day. So what you can do, if you go up to the top bank here, you'll see there's the media, audio, and titles. So if you can add titles, and you can add a selection of titles here. Uh, let's say this one, right in the center. It takes a while for it to load up. Sorry, my, uh, my laptop is hanging a bit. There we go. And wherever it is on your timeline, that's where you want to uh, place it. Say, so move it left or right to the particular clip that you want then you can just double click it and then select all and then my office okay just make whatever tile that you want onto that you can go up here and change the font the font actually for the standard eye movie isn't that great it's selection i should say i said for sure medium something like that um, you can change the the color let's go to red something like that, um, and you can centralize it, whatever you want to do. You can bold it, okay, and that's it. So that's double click there, and there we go. My office is there, my office is there. And this has just got a sort of focus lower third, this is where it comes in. So if I play that, you'll see that it just comes in right there, and then it will fade out. Okay, so there's lots, there's lots of different uh, tiled, uh, tiles or titles here to play with that will overlay so that's one option but they're a little bit limited in kind of the size and font and the graphic that you may want to use or where you may want to place it so actually another way and a better way which I use is something as a, is a something off the web called uh, Canva so we go to Canva okay and that's canva.com and there we go canva.com and uh, create an account now there is a free version of canva or there's a paid version so you have to go for the paid version which i think is uh, just a few dollars a month uh, or a couple of pounds a month something like that and that enables you to create uh, tiles Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. So what you can do for either videos or for you can you create thumbnails. I create all my thumbnails for my videos here, that kind of thing. Uh, my banner art for my YouTube channel, for my website, it all comes from Canva. Okay, so you can choose here. Uh, you can go for YouTube, thumb channel art, thumbnail. You know, there are already some presets there. Uh, you could go for video oops video uh, 16 by presentation wide 16 by 9 okay so that would be what you would the kind of tile that you would add onto a whole screen of video okay now let's say you've got the blank screen here and and this is the the outline here right here like that now you just want to add some text, so I'm just going to add some text. I'm just going to go for a heading. Okay, so we're going to make that in bold. I'm just going to create. Um, there we go. Just choose a font, and then I'm just going to choose a size, which yeah, most people can see on here like that. I'm just going to widen out the box here so it meets right at the edge of the um, page and I'm just going to click on it and then just increase the font a little bit more something like that uh, let's go for 170 now I'm just going to drag that to the center until I get the central line that lines up that's right in the center of the page and then I'm just going to increase it, um, select all, and I'm just going to say my office. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the color of that 
to red. There we go. Now, what I want to do is actually sh save this whole plate, this whole tile, so I can overlay it onto the video. But I don't want to have a white background. I want to have a see-through background. And this is where you have to pay to get this feature from Canvas. So what you do, download, and you select PNG, and then you click transparent background. Then you download it. Okay, so that's onto your computer, like that. Get rid of that, there we go. Okay, then I just go to my downloads, I go to my office, and I just drag it on top of the timeline. Now this is what you need to do. You need to drag it on top of your timeline so it sits on top. Okay, so here, when I actually play the video, it will actually go all over my video. This is superimposed over the top of my video. So even let's say, if I selected the whole video clip and I wanted to change the dimensions or what you're actually seeing, I want to zoom in a bit. Okay, that's it. Now it would still be over what is showing there. Okay, but let's say I don't want that in the center of my face. So I actually want it on the top right or the bottom left, bottom right, whatever. So what I do, I just click it. Go to the two squares here, cut away, I do picture in picture, picture in picture, and then I can resize it to whatever I want. At the same time, I can maneuver it wherever I want. So let's say I want it bottom left, like that, I can resize it, yep, that's it. There we go. So now, when I play it, it will come up in the bottom left. I can also decide what, uh, how I want to see this graphic. Uh, do I want a, a zoo, a, for it dissolving, a zoom or a swap, I can change the transition. I can change the time of the transition as well, and I can add borders uh, if I really want to, if it's a smaller graphic, let's say. But that's it. So if you want to add tiles or overlays to a video, you can either use the standard ones from iMovie, or as I do, if you go to canva.com, go for the page subscription, create your own thumbnails or your own 16 by 9 tiles, and then download them with the transparent background, and then you'll have your overlays. Right. Hope this helps. And... Happy editing uh, for all your videos. All right, you've been watching Revelator Out. Please subscribe, uh, tell all your friends, leave lots of comments, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.